All right, people, I got to start this the way that we started from the very beginning. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Show me what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. Hell yeah, this is the political revolution, people. <laughs> we are doing this. We are doing this. that this is not over. We don't care what the mainstream media is putting out there, corporate media. This is not over. We are counting ballots. Raise your hand if you're counting ballots. If you're overseeing the counting of ballots. Raise your hand, guys. I know a lot of you are. Because we will not let them steal our democracy. This electoral process has got to be legitimate. And we're going to make sure, at least on our end, that we can as much as possible. We have started from nothing. We started over a year ago, some of us, with no materials, with no campaign, nothing but the heart and will and the soul of the real democracy, which is in each, each one of us that's here tonight. That's what it's about. And this fight, this fight is for the heart and soul of democracy in our country. We are not going to let them destroy it, turn it into oligarchy, turn it into this military industrial complex has got to end. And you know, Robert Reich says, it's the military industrial congressional complex. And we know that because the Congress people have sold out to the highest bidder. So that's really what this is about, you guys. It's taking the same energy that we started with so many months ago. How many, I mean, we, we, we've been everywhere. We've been through the fire. We have been through the fire. I was in Nevada on the state convention night. And let me tell you, to be standing in front of police officers and to see my democracy being stolen was, I, I, just, disheartening isn't even the word. I, I left there feeling like I literally had been through, you know, all props to my veteran friends and Ernie, veteran here, uh, but, but I felt like I was going through some sort of a PTSD because I could not believe what had happened that night. And the stories that came out were just incredibly skewed and horrible, and, but the truth is, we know the truth. They know the truth. And we just have to expose it for what it is. So the brand new Congress is about not letting those people take over our, our democracy, not telling them enough is enough. Bernie's message, Bernie's message the whole time that we cannot live in a country that does not represent its people. We can no longer stand and idly watch as it's all taken from us if we ever really had it, if we ever really had it, right? So we know that this fight for democracy has got to start with each and every one of us. And this energy that we started, that we uh, did all that heart and soul, it's got to keep going. And I know it will because I know so many of you in here. I can't look around without seeing faces and people that I know, that I know have the heart and soul. I know you've got it. Absolutely. So, so really it's going to be now building community building real communities where we're talking to each other, where, you know, the canvassing that you did, getting to know people, well, we're going to have to keep doing that sort of thing and really educating people because, you know, each one of you that canvassed has that story of the person that I didn't know. I mean, when I was canvassing in Watts, I had this woman saying, what? Are you kidding me? Have I not known this? What? And it was like she had just woken up, and I, I wish I could have videotaped that. I wish I could have videotaped that. But that's what it is. It's going to be about waking every single person up. You know, how many of you from the 70s, you remember that song by Harold Melvin and the Blue Notes? Wake up, everybody. Let the. It's, it's going to be like that. we got to wake everybody up. But it's going to be real grassroots. And, I, you know, like, like uh, Nassim said, it's, it's, I mean, we're at the beginning. And we're putting this together kind of along with you. But we know that we can do it because we know we're capable. We could have done this with or without a campaign. We could have done this with or without a campaign. But we've got... Um, Rohan somewhere here who's going to tell you some more details and Nasina's going to tell you some details. But let me tell you, we've got some endorsers. So how many of you have been to the website and you saw the pictures of all the beautiful people from across the country that were some of the first ones on board? So we have some of them here. So Mo and Danielle and Deborah and all you other endorsers who are here, come on forward. Don't be shy. And just so you know, you, you've got your resident artist in the house, Daniel Mott, that made these t-shirts. He only, he only made 12. He only made 12, so it's limited edition if you want one. So we've got Deborah and Mo and Danielle that are very humble people and aren't, aren't coming forward, but they're here too. But it really is about each and every one of us and what we're going to be able to do together. So I'm going to pass it on to Nasima again, and she's going to give you some more details. But you guys, let's keep the fire burning! Yeah.